Neo News Today podcast. My name is Dean, and today we're going to be talking to Robbie Wang from New Econo Labs. Now, you may have heard of New Econo Labs. They're basically like the Chinese version of City of Zion. And by saying that, I mean they're a community development group that are dedicated to improving the Neo ecosystem through the development of applications, building development tools, and providing an on-ramp for developers in China to get involved and start contributing to the ecosystem as a whole. Now, they're working on many projects at the moment, but one exciting project that's coming up is called Neo Name Service, which is a domain name service that will allow people to register .neo top-level domain names and then use those in various different ways. So we're going to talk to Robbie, and he's going to tell us all about that. All right, let's get on to the interview. On the line, I have Robbie Wang, Overseas Community Operations Manager from New Econo Labs, who are a Chinese-based Neo development community. How are you today, Robbie? Hey, hi, Dean. It's my, uh, my honor to talk to you in the interview. <laughs> Thanks, mate. We're very happy to have you. Um, now, today, we're going to be talking about Neo Name Service, um, which will be one of your first major projects. But before we talk about that, let's talk a little bit about New Econo Labs. Now, people in the West are very familiar with City of Zion and all the work they do. Um, and of course, they brought us things like the Neon Wallet, which is very widely used. And uh, New Econo Labs is sort of like the, the Chinese version of City of Zion in a sense. So can you tell us a little bit about the history of the group, uh, how big it is, and how it's structured? Uh, okay. And uh, so first, uh, New Econo Lab is, uh, I agree with you, it's a Chinese word of City of Zion, um, because uh Neo is more famous in out of China, we think, uh, we feel. Uh, but in China, the developers, uh, 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 blockchain is also a new thing. We want to, to, to build a, a Neo developer community for Chinese developers. Uh, this uh, uh, new, economy, new Econo Lab, or we call it Neo, Neo was founded uh, in late last year by Jason Liu and Li Jianying. Jason Liu worked uh, at On Chain as a senior and product manager. And Li Jianyin was the, one of the few core developers of Neo. So the Neo's mission is to, first is want to, want to be a Neo blockchain technology evangelist to educate uh, people about the Neo blockchain development. Uh, second, we want to, to produce many uh, Neo blockchain developers in China. Uh, the third one is we want to uh, and to incubate many projects working on new blockchain. Okay, cool. So it sounds like uh, you were founded right out of the heart of Neo there with the uh, with the Neo and on chain connection. And uh, how much contact does your team have with City of Zion? And you know, also I guess the Neo core team and what on chain are working on as well. Do you guys collaborate on certain things? Is there a sharing of information there? Uh, yes, we we made a talk with them on the Discord. We created a channel uh, so we could talk to their developers. Uh, we partner partner with them to on the on the wallet. So because uh, people cannot use NS directly, they need to use uh, the wallet first. So uh, we need uh, the the wallets the the new wallets to integrate our NS service on their wallet so the user could use our NS service. Okay, cool. So, well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about Neo Name Service. So, um, it's basically a, a decentralized domain name service with .neo as the top level domain. So, can you tell us why some someone would need a .neo domain and how they would use it? Yeah, uh, this dot, dot .neo domain is like um, it's, it's like yeah, it's like uh, the the website you you, you see every day, like w uh, .google .com. Uh, because uh, in the blockchain world, people are now, are now used the, like the wallet address. It's a very long, complica complicated address. It's not user friendly. So, uh, so the first, uh, like the first decentralized um, blockchain uh, domain name is ENS Ethereum uh, Names Service. So we um, borrowed a lot of experience from the ENS. And so the first they use the first they use is scenario is the wallet address. But in the future, as the blockchain technology develops, we can uh, the 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 NS can be used in other scenarios like uh, 
the decentralized uh, file storage, like IPFS, this kind of service. Okay, cool. So, um, so if I've got a, I want to send a Neo to you, for instance, instead of having to use your long uh, public key, which is very hard to remember that the only way to do it really is to copy and paste or scan the QR code. You could have, for instance, yeah. Robbie.neo. I'd open up my wallet in the send field. I would put in Robbie.neo, 10 Neo, and I could send that to you that way. Yes. But, yeah. Awesome. So that's, that's very simple and a lot easier for users. And could I use the .neo domain as a for, for regular websites or for an email address, or is it only going to be possible to be used for uh, you know public keys, uh, smart contract addresses, and, and for use on the blockchain? Um, firstly, it can only be used in either wallet address, but in the future, you can also use it as a like a file name, which are saved in a decentralized way, like IPFS. And but in the in the future, our ultimate the goal is to 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 make uh, DNS compatible with EN with with NNS. You just go to a uh, like a, like a Google Chrome. You enter like DN that mail. You can use the wallet address. You can use the NNS service. This is our ultimate goal. Okay, great. That sounds excellent. Um, so, what are the advantages of having uh, a domain name service on the blockchain uh, as opposed to using the the regular uh, domain name infrastructure? So first, the, the advantage is that, for example, I can give you a very simple example. Uh, when, you, when you do, a, when you want, if you are a blockchain startup, you want to do an ICO, you need to have your like wallet address on your website so people can send their, uh, their Bitcoin or Ether, uh, Ether to your wallet address. But sometimes uh, the, the address is very long, complica complicated one. So sometimes your, maybe your website is hacked by some hackers. They modified your wallet address, but people cannot notice that. Mm -hmm. So if they use uh, NNS, NNS uh, service, like if you want to start, a, uh, if you want to, uh, if you can have an address like Robbie.neo, so everyone can notice whether it's modified or not. This, this is a very good example to show the advantage of the NNS service. Yeah, and there have been some very high, um, very high profile hacks in that manner. Like you said, you change that public key, it's so unrecognizable, no one has a clue that it's been changed, uh, and then millions of dollars get sent to the wrong address. So by having a very recognizable uh, address to send to, you kind of circumnavigate that problem. Yes, yes. So let's say I want to buy a .neo domain name. Um, can you walk me through the steps on how this is going to work on Neo name service? Um, so... You know, let's say I, I want to go out and I want to buy Dean.neo. What would be the first thing that I would do? Uh, so first thing you need to go to our, our website. Uh, we don't have a name for that, but you can call it like a domain explorer. So you go to the domain explorer. It's like a, a, a search engine, like Google. So go there. if you go there, you can enter enter your name, like uh, your Dean.neo in there. So it will, it will check the availability of that uh, that domain name, whether it's uh, uh, whether it's available or not. Uh, if it's available, then you can go to the uh, the auction process. Then you bid for that domain name. That's it. Okay, so uh, the auction process. When I, I bid for that domain, um, do I, am I bidding in Neo uh, in NNS, which is your token, or am I bidding in gas? Uh, and who am I bidding against? So, do, so let's say I want to buy Dean.neo. I go on and I, first of all, is it gas or Neo name service or Neo NNS coin that I bid with? Uh, you will bid with uh, with gas. With gas. only gas. Okay, cool. That's great. Yes. I, I love it when applications use gas. Um, so I've gone on. I'm on your domain name explorer. I've typed in Dean.neo, and it's available. I go great. I want to buy this name, and I bid to yeah. gas. What happens then? Yes. Does someone have a chance to outbid me? And can I up my bid? How long does that bid need to sit out there before it becomes my domain? How does that work? Uh, uh, actually, uh, it's, uh, it's a very complicated question because we are uh, just uh, deployed our uh, smart contracts on the test net. I think for me, if, to my understanding, is that uh, you just if it's available, if your name is, is still available, you will bid for this domain name. If there is no other bidders, you will definitely win this. You will definitely win this domain name. But if there there are other bidders who want to uh, bid 
for the same domain names. So you will uh, the first the, the the person who bid the most who bid, who bid the most uh, guess will win the bid. Will win the name. Okay, so I go on and I place my bid. Uh, there's a certain amount of time where other people can place their bid, and then once that time expires, whoever has placed the highest bid will uh, yeah. then receive yes. control of that name. Okay, and then so once I've got the the name, uh, it's not mine permanently, right? I need to pay like registration fees, yearly rental fees, or something on that name. How how is that going to work? Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, uh, you will pay the pay the rental fee because uh, if if we don't have the rental fee, people will just um, bid many domain names and they don't use it. It will be a big waste. So we will introduce the rental fee, the yearly rental fee for the domain names. Okay, great. And will that rental fee be paid in gas or NNS token? Yes, yes. Er everything will be paid in gas. Okay, so um, but we do have an NNS token, right? So what's the utility of the token on the on the application? So, uh, so a... a so it, as I just explained to you that uh, we have an uh, auction to, to distribute all the domain names to the users. And so the, the, uh, the system, the NNS system can get some, some revenue from the auction. And 100% of the auction re uh, revenue will, will be uh, returned to all the NNC users. It's just like, uh, like a share. If you own a, a company's share, a public company's share, you will get some dividends. So if you if you you you, you hold, uh, if you hold NNC, you will uh, get the domain name auction revenue from the NNS system. Gotcha. Okay. So all the all the uh, the gas that's taken from bidding, that's uh, collected from the rental fees, that gets redistributed to NNC token, not NNS, like I said in error previously. It's NNC token that's redistributed to all the NNC tokens proportionately to how much they hold. Correct. Yes, yes, correct, correct. Cool. And then I'm assuming um, on the Domain Name Explorer, I, I'm able to manage where I want that uh, .neo domain name to point, whether I want that to point to one wallet address or another address or a smart contract. Is there a, a management interface on that? Uh, actually, I'm not, a tech, I'm not a developer. I cannot explain to you uh, because we don't have that kind of interface now. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's still under development a little bit. That's fine. Um, yes, yes. All right, cool. So I understand that people are going to be able to try this out on testnet very soon with the .test domain name. Um, how long till that's available? And you can can you tell us a little bit where people are going to be able to go? Um, I'm assuming they're going to need to get some testnet gas um, to go and try out the system. Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, actually, uh, today we will publish an article in Chinese to explain where you need to go to 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 participate in this test. Um, so people go to the our, our website to to log into our web wallet, and then you will see an NS, and then you you will you you can enter the name you like. It will be like a Robby that test. This is not uh, uh, this is not in an auction fashion. It's in a first come first. First, the served fashion. So you just go there. If you are the first one to, to register, like a Robbie that, that test, you will definitely get that that name. And uh, this uh, this doesn't you don't need to pay any gas in this service. And and the other two uh, to and uh, to incentivize people to try our test, we anyone who register uh, an ending in that test domain name will be rewarded with fifty tokens. Okay, great. That's excellent. It's a good way to get people to try it out. Um, so this is being recorded uh, on, uh, what's the day today? May 16th, right? So by the time this goes live, listeners, um, that should already be up. So you will be able to go uh, and, and try this service. Um, and the I'm sure the information, the article will all be out. We'll have something up on there and you today. So you can uh, have a look on our website and you'll be able to find the address that you need to go to um, to try out the testnet version of the Neo name service. Um, yes. So I'm assuming that you'll also need existing wallets um, to support the the .neo domain name service, right? Because wallets as they are now, because mm. NNS doesn't exist. If you put in, if I go open my Neon wallet or my you know O3 wallet or whatever, and I put in Dean.neo, it's not going to understand what I'm talking about. So um, have you already got some partnerships? You did mention City of Zion earlier. Um, have you have you had any communication with other wallet developers uh, to support the .neo domain? Uh, yes, we have talked with uh, like O3, Ozone, and we also talked with uh, 
with Morpheus wallet. And uh, in the end, we will work with the most new wallet, new wallets developers. Okay, excellent. That's great. Um, and can you tell us a little bit about the support you're getting from uh, Fembushi Capital and also Neo Global Capital? Yeah, um, um, we, in China, we call it Fembushi Capital and NDC as the cornerstone investors because they are very famous or very well-known blockchain fund or capital. Um, uh, it's because they are very famous in the, in the blockchain world. So I think the partner, our partnership with them can raise people's awareness about our, uh, our NS brand. And they also have very connected in this blockchain world. They can uh, give us some advice like the, gov- on, the like on the governance and um, something like that. Excellent. Cool. Um, sounds good. And uh, where should people go if they want to um, find out more information on uh, the Neo name service? Uh, now we have just uh, need to follow our socials. Like uh, our, we have a website for uh, Neo for NS. It's a, and it's a, a Neo NS that name. Uh, they also can join our Telegram channel. We have a Telegram channel, English channel, and a Chinese channel. And we also have an announcement channel on the Telegram. Uh, we also have a Twitter, uh, NS Twitter. And also, they can also follow our uh, Nails Twitter uh, because when we post some 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 some, some message on the, on the NS Twitter, we will also retweet uh, retweet the post on the Nails Twitter. And in China, we also use the like WeChat. We have many WeChat groups, so people in the WeChat groups can receive the information, our newest, our latest information. We also have uh, like a subscription. Uh, WeChat, WeChat account. So it's a, it's a, it's only in China. Maybe people out of China are not familiar with that, but it's very common. It's very popular in China. Awesome. Uh, we'll also include those links, uh, listeners, whether you're on YouTube or iTunes or Google Play. Have a look in the description. We'll include those links so you can click through and uh, find the Neo Name Service and New O'Connor Labs information. Uh, Robbie, I know you've got a lot of other things going on with uh, New O'Connor Labs as well. You've got the Neo Dun Wallet. Uh, you've got the game competition coming up as well. Um, so people, if they if you yes. want to follow you on all those um, all those accounts, they're going to be able to get information on that as well. A little bit of outside of the scope of what we're going to talk about today, but they're also really exciting projects. So I'm sure we're going to have you back on another point to talk about those. Um, so I want to encourage people to go and check those out. But Robbie, it's been uh, a pleasure having you on the podcast today. Uh, I want to thank you for your time and I'm looking really forward to seeing where the Neo name service goes because I think this is something that is going to bring real value and usability to the Neo ecosystem and I think that's what we need to be looking at, looking towards uh, if we're going to reach, you know, consumer level adoption. Yes, yes. Thank you, Dean. Thank you, Dean. No worries. Thanks for your time, mate. I appreciate it. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Thank you for your time. (laughs) 